Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm the infectious disease pharmacist at CHA. Most of you know there are lots of different kinds of bacteria. Some of them are really good for us, like the bacteria that lives in our guts, but some bacteria are dangerous, even life-threatening, which is why we take antibiotics like penicillin to help our bodies fight them off. That's Alexander Fleming, the guy who discovered penicillin in 1928. He warned us about using antibiotics carefully. Unfortunately, we didn't listen. We've been using antibiotics when there isn't an infection, in our food sources, after surgeries, or generally over prescribing for decades. Bacteria follow a natural process of mutation so they can protect themselves from threats like antibiotics. We now have superbugs like MRSA and C. diff, which are drug resistant bacteria. Those are the more common examples, but there are a growing number of others. Scientists are trying to keep up with stronger antibiotics, but aren't able to create new drugs fast enough. Antimicrobial resistance, or AMR, are a leading cause of death globally, especially in low resource areas, with over 5 million people dying around the world from these kinds of infections. As bacteria become resistant, what used to be routine infections are now life-threatening. Modern medical treatments from routine surgeries to treating strep throat are at risk. So what can we do? Antibiotics are a common resource and they belong to all of us. They need to be protected just as we protect other common resources like clean water. The best way to reduce our risk of creating more superbugs is to make sure everyone gets the right drug at the right dose for the right amount of time to treat their infection. Here's what you can do to help. Eat antibiotic-free meat and eggs if possible. Stay up to date on recommended vaccines. Wash your hands. Don't pressure your providers for antibiotics if they say that they are not needed. Ask your doctor about the risks and side effects of taking antibiotics. Prepare food safely by cleaning your hands, cooking food to safe temperatures, separating raw meat, and storing food properly. And lastly, practice safe sex. CHA is also doing our part. Our antimicrobial stewardship team is helping us improve antibiotic use by creating guidelines, monitoring patients on long-term antibiotics, making sure we have the latest technology to detect resistant bacteria and staying on top of the latest trends. But we can't do it alone. Help us stop more superbugs from spreading. We can do this together.